Hi there, it's Luke here. I've been a doctor for the better part of 30 years. There are many scientific studies that have shown that regular exercise can help you control your weight, reduce your risk of heart disease, as well as strengthening your bones and muscles to name but a few of the amazing benefits of exercise. If it's been a while since you've exercised and you have health issues or concerns, it's always a good idea to talk to your doctor before starting a new exercise routine. Now, although moderate physical activity such as brisk walking is safe for most people, health experts suggest that you talk to your doctor before starting an exercise program if you have any of the following conditions. You suffer from any form of heart disease. Now, I'll go into that into some more detail later in this video. If you have asthma or lung disease such as emphysema, you have type 1 or type 2 diabetes, any form of kidney disease, arthritis, the most common form would include osteoarthritis or rheumatoid arthritis, or you'll be treated for cancer or you've recently completed chemotherapy for cancer. Of course, if you're in any doubt, always best to make sure of your doctor. Next, I'll deal with a situation where perhaps you haven't been diagnosed with any of the conditions I've talked about thus far, and here you must be guided by your symptoms. Essentially, these are any symptoms suggestive of heart, lung, or any other serious disease. These would include any form of pain you experience or discomfort in your chest, neck or jaw or arms during physical activity, and especially if this pain tends to spread to another area. In other words, it might start in the chest and then go up into your neck or down into your arm. And this is called angina and it's very important to report this to your doctor. Next is dizziness or lightheadedness and especially fainting with exercise or exertion. Perhaps you experience shortness of breath with mild exercise or even at rest. And especially if you lie down and you experience shortness of breath, you must report it to your doctor. Do your ankles swell, especially at night? This could be significant and you must mention it. Perhaps you have palpitations. Now this is a rapid or pronounced heartbeat that you can feel in your chest. And this you must mention to your doctor, no matter how brief the episodes are. Perhaps you have a heart murmur, and you will only know this if your doctor has told you this before. And this could be related to a problem with the heart valves, or you may have had rheumatic fever as a child. Do you perhaps have lower leg pain, particularly in your calves when you walk, and that pain goes away with rest? This is called claudication and could signify a problem with circulation in your legs. Finally, I'll deal with a situation where you plan on engaging in a really vigorous uh, physical exercise program. The American College of Sports Medicine recommends that you see your doctor if you have two or more of the following conditions. You're older than 35 years. You have a family history of heart disease before the age of 60. Now, this could be conditions such as an irregular heartbeat, such as atrial fibrillation, angina, which we talked about earlier, but just to reiterate, it's pain which is either at rest or with exercise, which starts in the chest and spreads to the arms or jaw or neck. And lastly, if a member of your family has had a significant confirmed heart attack. If you smoke or you quit smoking in the last six months, it's important to mention this to your doctor. Perhaps the other situation is where you don't normally exercise for at least 30 minutes for most days of the week. So that's three to four days of the week. Another important factor is if that you are significantly overweight and or you have high blood pressure or high cholesterol. Lastly, if you have type 1 or type 2 diabetes or you have an impaired glucose tolerance test. This is all so-called pre-diabetes. Again, if two or more of these conditions exist, it's absolutely imperative to see your doctor before engaging in vigorous physical exercise. I hope
hope that you've found this video helpful and good luck.